Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Piggy Party. So today we're going to do a little daily vlog about what I kind of do in the day as a piggy owner. So first, right now, I have veggies over there that I'm going to give them in a sec. But first I'm going to spot clean their cage and give them their pellets. So in the morning, sometimes they are up here and this mat is a mess. Um, because Snickers likes to go under it and stuff. So first up, if that's a mess, which it usually is, I like to clean it up and then I'll give them their food. And then I usually focus on the bottom while they're busy up here eating. Um, so they're just kind of out of my way so I can have an easier spot clean. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of poops, just a big pile of them. And then I'm going to put the mat back. It's super nice. It's a diaper changing, well, diaper changing mat, but it fits perfectly on our loft. So that's great. And then they'll probably run up to the loft or run over to me once I hear this bag rattling. See, Snickers is biting the cage. Baby, go work your teeth. All right, are you ready? Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh-oh, Doodle. Wrong way. Gotta go up the loft. There you go. All right. So they are eating their pellets. It's about seven o'clock now, and I try to have my spot cleanings go for about 15 minutes. Uh, and I have to add hay and sometimes fill up water bottles. So first step is I take out all Heidi's. It's stuck. Okay, there we go. I take out all Heidi's just so they're out of my way. And I also take out toys. So we have a ball right here. We have two bones. And that's all we have in there. And then I try to like pick a pee pad to just put all the poops on and then dump sorry i'll be yawning and then dump it all in the garbage so that's what i'm going to do i've been recently just picking this one to put all the stuff on and if there's like hay like this oh, there's poop in there i'll just like put it back in the hay box Try to get it as much as I can. And I try not to put any poops in there. Get these. Gotta roll my sleeves, I forgot about that. And then, yeah, I'm just going to pick up all the poops. I, at first, we were gonna get like a dustpan and we we're just gonna like scoop it up, but now, that I've done it like probably about 50 times more. We've had them for about four or five months now, more. And um, I've just thought it was easier with my hands. The poops just like fly up. It's kind of hard to explain, but when I'm, it, they just like fly up when I'm trying to sweep. Oh. We also have a stick that was hiding, that was blending in with the black, or brown pee pad. Um, but yeah, I usually just like take that out. 
and sometimes they have these little like crumbs kind of um on their pee pads from eating those um bones they kind of leave some crumbs when they eat it so i try to brush those off also if there are any crumbs on it otherwise it's it's pretty like weird to sleep on crumbs if you want to take a good nap as a piggy at least in my perspective and then under here we have a little like mop that like a little mop pad that goes on a mop and then just a little extra piece of fleece that I put on top so it's nice and comfy and I think they love it because and sometimes they go like it's super light so they like to lift this up and go under so there's always like poops in miscellaneous spots over here it's crazy how many spots of poop can yeah and also hay that's just everywhere we call it hay we call it guinea pig glitter because the glitter is just everywhere and you can't get it off like your hands or something so it's just guinea pig glitter it's just everywhere <laughs> So, yeah, we got lots of guinea pig glitter over here because that's where they hop out of the hay. And then what behind them travels a little bit of hay every time they jump out. And then we'll take, sometimes there's poops under it, but we'll take this pee pad and just dump it in the garbage and kind of brush it off. And then the next step I do is usually feel mats. If they're, they're wet, I replace them. This one feels pretty good. Just kind of feel around with my hand. That oh, feels good. Nice and dry. It's a little wet under here. That's just because the water drips sometimes. A little piece of poop. That seems good. That pee pad seems good. All right. I think that is good for their spot clean. And then I'm going to. Uh oh. I'm going to put all of their hidey houses and toys back in. I'm just going to start with toys, try to scatter them pretty well so like ball ball let's put the ball over there stick bone bone there bless you doodle you just sneeze two times and before i put oh of course you have to come down doodle before i put the brown house back here i will fill up the hay and I filled up the water bottles last night, so that should be good. They look pretty full. Watch out, Doodle. Incoming fleece forest. <laughs> There's Doodle. Just to check the whole cage out. And then we have our little bucket of hay, as some of you know. We have the big bale in the garage, and that fills up the big um, bin in the closet, and then that fills up the bin right here, and then this bin fills up their, um, like, all of their litter boxes. Doodle, can you just scooch over, like, a couple inches for me? Doodle, over there. There you go. And then I'm just going to set this in and fill it up. No doodle, I don't want to poke you. Try to get it super full. I try to keep them like over that area because I don't want like 
pigs getting just like hay pokes or just getting in the hay so I kind of block off the area and I learned to push this tight against that because one time Snickers lifted well like not lifted but went on the side of that and got into the hay and yeah oh she just popcorned she's like yes new hay fresh hay okay go run free oh she's distracted with her bone doodle might come down yeah she'll come down they'll come down when there's food huh okay well they're just eating their bones now all right so that was pretty much our morning spot clean and now we're going to shift over and i'm going to show you guys something let me just lock this up now they're both in the hay when i'm about to lock their thing up oh got their brown house now they both jump in the hay then put their brown house make sure it's nice and lined up with the pee pad perfect and then i'm going to close that just admire little snickers in the hay all right and then we just pin that close and then i am going to move over here and show you guys something so this is our air purifier and yeah we have a black one upstairs i will insert a picture of the black one but this is the air purifier we have a white one down here and a black one upstairs like i said and it's just like it's pretty small to be honest it doesn't really take up that much room and it has to be like 15 inches i think away from anything so we keep it nice and away. So I'm gonna show you what some of the buttons mean. So this, oh, I turned it on. This little power button is to turn it on. These are the levels. One, it's not that loud. Two, gets a bit louder. Three, it's loud, but not that loud. And then this is a timer button, so you can set a timer for two hours, four hours, six eight hours, or eight hours. And then press it again to turn it off. This is turn off the lights, and then turn back on the lights. And then this, I think, will like light up if we need to change the filter. And then this button, I think I pushed it. Whoa, no I didn't. What? Oh, this push. I don't know, but this button will lock all the buttons on here. So like, if you have a toddler, your toddler can't come up and press all the buttons, or if you have a kid, won't press all the buttons. But yeah, so that was basically, we got um, those off of Amazon. And yeah, that was basically our air purifier and my morning spot clean with the pigs and now i'm going to give them veggies i almost forgot okay i have this little one and this little one so i'm going to give it to them what's this one doodle Snickers. They're going to enjoy those. So yeah, they are enjoying those in there. And I'm going to head off to school. It's about 7, 7.15ish, I think. So yeah, I'm going to head to school and we'll come back later. And also, um, we got uh, an email 
that our pig room um, box should be shipping here today anytime around t uh, anytime around 12 to like 4 and I usually get home around 4 30 so I'm super excited hope that we'll be home hope that hopefully that will be there by the time I get home and yeah I'm gonna go to school bye guys hey guys I'm home from school and we did get our pig box pig room box so I'm so excited so I'm gonna go down here we're going to open it so it has the cute little pig room sticker with mr jojo on it sadly jojo died a few weeks ago we all love jojo so much right there jojo and dove just recently died we all are wishing well wishes to them in Austin. And I saw a bunch of people were sending him things. And so even a person made him plushies of them. And that was super cute. But, yeah. So, let's open our box. Oh, gosh. Your order made us popcorn with Winston. Coming out of some popcorn. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. And then on the back, it just says, thank you for ordering from the pig room. This is just so adorable though. Um, and then this just says, our order, squish tunnel, and a jumbo piggy bunk bed oh he wraps these so nicely all right i'm so excited all right oh my gosh i've never felt one of these before okay so this is austin if you don't know the pig room definitely check him out on youtube it's at the pig room and he has his own store and we went on there and it completely sold out in like minutes um i definitely recommend to go shopping on his page next time he has a launch and i definitely recommend going to watch him he is such an amazing creator but and he sews all of these um so that's so nice and so this is a removable pee pad. He makes it with like a layer of fleece, a layer of kind of like a moving blanket layer, and then another layer of fleece. Makes them so good. And then this is called a squish tunnel. He made it for pigs that like to go on top of their like houses. And even like I'm putting all my weight on this and it pops back up and it's so adorable. And I think the pigs are really going to love this. Um, we are going to make a black and white theme playpen video. So make sure if you haven't seen our other videos, go other playpen videos, make sure to go check those out. And if you want to see a full cage tour and bin tour, um, make sure to go check out our page also. But yeah, this is super cute. I love it. And then we just got a little, he sewed this also. We got a jumbo piggy bunk bed match. This side is gray and then the other side is yellow. Adorable. That's his little tag, the pig room. We also, what have we gotten from the pig room? We've gotten like bunk bed pads. Let's see. Do I have them on hand? Yes, I do. Here is his bunk bed tag. <laughs> I was gonna look for the tag. His bunk bed. They're like a pig mat kind of feel. He also says sells sells like a jumbo version of these and a plush version of these. Jumbo plush version. Um, this is just their mini jumbo bunk bed one. 
but yeah, they're super cute and they're super good quality and you can wash and dry them. So yeah, that's what we got from the pig room. I'm gonna hang this on our wall. I'm gonna hang these on our shelves over there. Just gotta make a whole picture frame of pig room stuff. This is so adorable. But yeah. So that was our order from the pig room. We're going to, now that I'm home from school, I'm going to go put the pigs up in their playpen. Like I talked, did I talk? Yeah, I think I talked about playpen. How we put them in our playpen upstairs. Make sure to go watch our playpen videos also, like I said. And yeah. I hope you have a good rest of your day or night, and I hope your pigs are parting as hard as ours are. Bye, guys!